Welcome everyone to the second day of OTR Essential Christmas. I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. The ever decreasing number of you that are actually watching the channel. And I know I have had some fun doing this. But it is the second day of OTR Essential Christmas on December 26th. Don't ask how the math works, damn it. Just don't ask! And today we're going to try and have some fun, God forbid. We're going to play a game called Pick 2 where you were supposed to tweet me your questions to pick between two. It could have been wrestlers, managers, promoters, promotions, tag teams, shows, you name it, and I got to pick. Let's go. Let's see how this goes. Maybe I could do this again in the future if this is a success, but uh, like most new things I might try, they really don't end up being successes anymore because apparently I am out of touch. A Midnight New Mosaic, Big Show or Vader? Big Show. As much as the WWE tried to bring him down over the years by overexposing him and the constant heel face turns that really didn't make any sense, I'll take Big Show. Um, also, he asked the Motor City Machine Guns versus the Young Bucks. Oh boy, two flippy, kicky tag teams. I will take the Motor City Machine Guns because they don't go out of their way to try and make wrestling out to be a fucking joke, and they at least try to make their shit look somewhat serious and occasionally try to follow at least some of the fundamentals of tag team wrestling. And the Young Bucks do none of that because the Young Bucks suck. Fuck the Young Bucks and fuck all these people that sit there and pretend like they are something really good. Uh, let's keep going. i got to find more of these. Got to go through the Twitter feed. All right, Lowrider has a few of them. God or Hulk Hogan? Better politician. Um, Hogan? I mean, God's on that Mount Rushmore of politics. But he's no Hogan. WrestleMania 17 or SummerSlam 2002, better pay-per-view. It's SummerSlam 2002 and it's not even close. Fuck WrestleMania 17. Finn Balor or Jinder Mahal, biggest failure. Finn Balor. Isn't it obvious? Like, how is Jinder Mahal even in that category? He got some massive payouts. He got a somewhat lengthy world title run out of nowhere. Finn Balor's supposed to be that one, and then when he finally did get a world title, he immediately had to surrender it. He sucks, and I hope everybody starts to realize it. John Cena or Roman Reigns, the better overall superstar? Pass. I'm not going to answer that one. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Rout asks, biggest mark for themselves, the Lex Man or OK Fabe? Oh, God. Mr. Route, maybe? He insists on having hashtag gay for route trend. And to be fair, it should. It should. Everybody should be hashtag gay for route in a heterosexual manner. Uh, bigger mark for themselves. Ah, uh, it's easier to pick on Deluxe Man, so we'll go with Deluxe Man. Uh, give me the Lute. Rusev or Cesaro? Rusev has his own day. And it's every day. And it's Happy Rusev Day. And when in doubt, he gets the cream pie Lana, so he wins. Nav the Posts ask, Finn Balor, Randy Orton, whose mic skills put you to sleep faster? Historically, Randy Orton. In today's world, Finn Balor, and it's not close. Alexa Bliss or Paige, who is more overrated? Paige, and it's not close. Adam Cole or Kenny Omega? If either made the WWE main roster debut, which one would cause a bigger IWC circle jerk? It would be Kenny Omega because Meltzer would be leading the way. Everybody be doing the Meltzer Magoo. No wonder his guns are so freaking huge. He watches so much fucking Jap Japanese wrestling. And he beats off all the time. Like I thought I used to visit the Spank Bank a ton. You could only imagine how much Meltzer visits the Spank Bank. So it's got to be Kenny Omega. Because, I mean, besides, Adam Cole is already in the WWE hierarchy. Kenny Omega is off in New Japan. That's not even close. Uh, the one Jimmy 100. RVD or Jeff Hardy? Jeff Hardy. Paul London or Orlando Jordan? Uh, the one that doesn't bring underage kids to shows. We'll go Paul London. Faith No More or Red Hot Chili Peppers? Don't care. Rather Cross. JBL or Hardcore Holly? JBL. If Joey Styles can punch his lights out, so could I. Better promoter? Paul Heyman or Eric Bischoff? Uh, better promoter. You'd have to say Heyman. Because Bischoff actually had to pay people a bunch of money to do things. Heyman didn't pay people half the time and they did things. Orton's feud with Mick Foley or The Undertaker? Two great feuds in Orton's career. I will go with Foley. Eddie Guerrero or Chris Benoit? Eddie Guerrero didn't allegedly kill his family. Chris Jericho or Edge? 
Chris Jericho. Hollywood Rock or Bret Hart of 1997? Damn. Um, whining, sniveling Bret always felt so real. Like Hollywood Rock was a great character, but it was still a character and it didn't last the entire year. Give me uh, 97 Bret Hart. Kurt Angle or Bret Hart? Kurt Angle. Mr. Mike Law says, Bailey or Shinsuke Nakamura? Who'd have a better heel turn? Bailey. Because there's so many things eminently not likable about her. I think it would really work. Finn Balor or Mojo Rawley? Who's more boring? See Finn Balor. God versus Shawn Michaels versus N.A. Or Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker? Uh, better match. <laughs> <laughs> the fact he said God versus Sean versus NA almost makes me want to go with that one. But you got to go Michael's Taker 1 at 25, even though at mid-card of the damn show. Uh, crime Time or the Prime Time players? Um, crime Time got a better push. Crime Time was also the much more stereotypical gimmick, even though the Prime Time players wasn't that great. Um, so I will go with them. Let's see here. Who else we got? Ruthless Aggression FC. Sami Zayn or Finn Balor? Oh, Christ. Oh, my God. Why? No. But if we have to choose, if we have to choose, my hatred for Sami Zayn runs much longer, much deeper. I would choose Finn Balor because at least you've got the entrance and sometimes the demon paint. With Zayn, you've got none of that shit. Ready to rumble or no holds barred? No holds barred, but that is no disrespect to ready to rumble. Sable or Sunny? Sable would be much less likely to burn you, so I will go Sable. ICP or Limp Biscuit? Death. Uh, Danny Palmer. Bobby Heenan manager versus Bobby Heenan, Heenan commentator. Uh, Bobby Heenan manager. Gordon Soley versus Jim Ross. Jim Ross. WCW, the WWE version versus ECW, WWE version. <laughs> the ECW one lasted longer, so that wins. Uh, the Macho Man Randy Savage versus Roddy Piper. Savage. Trish Stratus versus Lita. Trish, child, please. Tasteless Tony T versus Mr. Rout. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, well, considering Mr. Rouse still hasn't sent me that package of D Dream Team action figures, Tasteless Tony T! Come on, Mikey! I ponied up! Now it's time for you to ship them out! Uh, console gaming, American Alucard, Brock shooting star press at WrestleMania, or Sid's top rope drop? <laughs> What's the better top rope moment? No, 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 no. We must correct this, American Alucard. Sid's jump was from the second rope, but it wins. It wins all day. Yes, Brock almost broke his neck in the main event of WrestleMania, but this is Psycho Sid from the second rope with a big boot of justice to Scott Steiner. <laughs> uh, then the next one. The Young Bucks or Joey Ryan and his penis? Which tag team do you hate more? Uh, Joey Ryan and his penis. Look, the Young Bucks suck. They're terrible. There's so many things I think that are wrong about professional wrestling. But as a general rule, I don't recall them using their penis as a fucking wrestling maneuver. Like, instead of bothering to develop skill, you know, like the Young Bucks didn't bother to develop real skill. They just flip around, bump around. Joey Ryan just went with his penis. So, I hate him more. That's stupid. Uh... Orton's construction worker beard or God's handlebar mustache? Ooh. That construction worker beard of Orton has some Blue Oyster Club quality to it, uh, but that handlebar mustache kind of has like a Gen Genghis Khan thing to it, so i got to go with God. So when in doubt, it's God. A hug life for life. WrestleMania 9 or December to December 2006. Got to go WrestleMania 9. Got to go WrestleMania 9. Uh, Eric Dennis. Triple H versus Jericho at 18 or Triple H versus Orton at 25, the better main event. I guess it would be Triple H versus Jericho because it made more story sense at that time for Triple H to win that one. Austin versus Hogan or Flair versus Hogan? Bigger missed opportunity. Austin versus Hogan uh, in WWE, yes. 
NWO Wolfpack or NWO Hollywood, which was your favorite? Uh, Wolfpack. John Peterson. Angelina Love, Velvet Sky, Madison Rain. Wait, wait a second. That's three. So your question's disqualified. Kyle Garner. Diamond Sky, JoJo Offerman, Layla L. Are, they, are these to the fuck, Mary kill ones? All right, you're a little late to the game, damn it! Uh, Mason Clark, Fritz von Erich, Eddie Graham. Better booker for a territory, Eddie Graham. Um, let's see here. The Hart or Annoy family? Better wrestling family. Hart family. Freebirds or Four Horsemen? Better faction, Four Horsemen. Roddy Roddy Piper, Jake Roberts, better talker, Roddy Piper. Andre the Giant, Haystacks Calhoun, better giant, Andre. Darren Young or Canyon, better wrestler who is, was gay, Canyon. Who better than Canyon? Now he would say, everybody's better. <laughs> uh, Horror Movie Review 73, WrestleMania 14 or WrestleMania 18? WrestleMania 14 because of its historical significance. MIM Arsenal. Jared, Jeff Jarrett or Dino Bravo, who do you hate most? Dino Bravo's dead, so I go Jeff Jarrett. WWF in 95, WCW in 2000, what was worse? Tie. Damn near tie. Tory Wilson, Stacy Keebler, who was hotter? To me, Tory Wilson. Jim Cornette or Paul Heyman, who was the better booker? Paul Heyman. Every time Cornette, it seems like, got the book, shit went haywire. But of course, he blames everybody else other than himself. Maybe just not very good at that. Saying, a deluxe man. Hey, hey, Rock or Austin? Attitude Era's biggest star. Correct answer is to the biggest star. And I don't give a shit if you agree with me or not. Is Vince McMahon? HBK or AJ Styles? Best in-ring performer. Shawn Michaels. CM Punk or Daniel Bryan? Best internet favorite. I mean, Alex, you know the answer to this one. The internet loves CM Punk and worships CM Punk and protested for CM Punk and rallied for CM Punk. But nothing compares to the deep-seated love and markdom and gayness in the internet community for Daniel Bryan. And you know that as one of the presidents of that fan club along with Marcus Smart. It's Daniel Bryan and it's not close. Easily. Trish Stratus or Lita, the best female wrestler. Trish. Flair or Hogan, most impact on the business. It was Hogan and it's not really that close, honestly. Just because Flair got a 30 for 30 special doesn't change history. History indicates Hogan had the much bigger impact. Jeff Jarrett or Dolph Ziggler, who do you hate the most? As stupid as I think Dolph Ziggler is and as annoying as he is and as suspect as he acts and how stupid he is and everything he does, Jeff Jarrett started multiple promotions because he was a mark for himself to where he could bring in people that would make him world champion. It's got to be Jeff Jarrett. Let's see here. Got any more? Uh, let's see here. Mr. Tuxedo, Undertaker or Andre? Taker. Shockmaster versus Gobbledygooker. The Shockmaster! Ultimate Warrior versus Randy Savage. Savage. Now wait, no more Jarrett Ziggler questions. They're, they're so similar. Um, Ricky Steamboat or the Macho Man? The Macho Man. Uh, let's see here. Ashwin. Who was that last one from? I'm sorry. Alex... No, it wasn't Alex Cruz. It was David Murgon, because Alex Cruz, I think, asked a pro wrestling fuck Mary quote kill question after the video had already been recorded. Ashwin. Rock or Austin? Rock. CM Punk or Brian? Brian. AJ Styles or Cena? AJ Styles. And I think that's about it. So, that was all right, I guess. It is what it is. We're getting the end of this uh, long video series. But that was pick two. Hopefully you guys enjoy this enough and it gets enough of a response to where we can do this again in the future and we can have more fun with it. If not, it was fun while it lasted. Kind of like Daniel Bryan's world title rates. <laughs> Just like Daniel Bryan's <laughs> title defense at maybe against Sheamus. <laughs> oh, I'm killing it today. All right, tune in next time for the first day of OTRS Central Christmas when we close this merciful freaking series out.